Hi crafty friends, Mary here. I am working on my card submission for episode 118 of Craft Roulette. Um, the parameters this time are a two card, pink plus three, so th uh, pink and then plus three other colors plus of course your neutrals. Um, for elements are bugs or insects. Um, I'm not a uh, insect or bug uh, fan, but I believe that a butterfly is a bug, even though some would call it a very pretty bug. It is still a bug. So using uh, artistic license, I am going with this little cutie by Stemping Bella. She is... Um, Brianna the butterfly. Um, I actually have um, all three of her of her sister or all two of her sisters. So I have the one that um, you can just see the back of her and the one that um, which is the other one. I can't think of it right now. Oh, the one that's facing forward. And then I have her. And I thought she would be the best one for the for today. So I'm gonna go with her today. I'm gonna put her here so I could get a feel for how she's colored and then for my color scheme um, I picked out this piece of paper I kind of like the bold background the black background with the pop of colors <coughs> sorry um, oh it's kind of a cloudy yicky day today um, so a good day to hang out in the craft room so um, I picked out some markers um, that uh, go with my uh, pattern paper um, some purples some pinks and some green or not some one because they have three shades so that's perfect for my blending um, and then uh, uh, in addition to that I need a flesh tone so here's my flesh tone and I need a hair color and I will probably do Hmm, do I want a brown color for her hair or do I want to make her gray color for her hair? I'm not sure, but I have both. Depends on which I decide on. So I have both. And then um, that's about it. I'm not sure if I need anything else. So, yeah. Um, so... I think I'm good I think I'm good so this I will die cut uh, in a little bit to be a two size so let's do coloring I will um, in in uh, editing I will um, mute the coloring part and fast forward so it's not doesn't take as you know as long as real light real time um, as I'm coloring, I will be talking because I, I usually talk to myself as I'm coloring. Um, yeah. So what am I going to do? I think I'm going to do... Um, here they have... It's, a, it's funny because the, the, the violet, bluish violet that they have on the wings is very close to the blue that a uh, violet that... In, that I'm using um, but I think I want do I want I want the pink on her wings I think mm, yeah I think I want the pink on her wings
try crafty friends okay I'm back so I um, finished coloring the um, my image and I die cut it with the largest of my dome stitched um, dies and then I went through my uh, cardstock to find some foil cardstock um, and uh, I didn't have any uh, foil in um, the colors that I picked. Um, I had purple, but it wasn't the right purple, and I didn't have any pink. I had reds. So um, I went with a green, um, and I want to have just a touch of green. I don't want to have like a whole, you know, border or anything. I just want to have a touch of green. So I thought that I would have just a really light, like an eighth of an inch border around this, but this is my largest dome so i really can die cut an you know a bigger dome um and i could i could make this the a2 panel and then die cut this slightly smaller so but i don't i don't know i don't want i i that's not really uh, no, I, I think I want some separation between the white and that. So I'm thinking like this for some reason. Not sure why, but um, that's the direction I'm going. So I'm going to show you a little trick that I do when I'm faced with not having a die, a bigger die. So if you notice, the die has let's see if this works so if I position the die like that see. it doesn't matter which direction you put it in what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a pencil and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't it depends on the die this die is really close to the edge of the actual physical die. So you see the edge of the die right here? It's really close to the edge. It's better when the die is not quite so close to the edge. Let me find a die like that. Um, I might take, for example, this die. I have a magnet at the bottom, so it's hard to uh, grab it. Take this die. You see how this die, it, 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 it's not as close as this die. There's a little bit of a lip or a little bit of an edge. So when, if you take a pencil, if you put it down and then you take a pencil and you go around it and then you fussy cut it, it will give you a slight border. So you could basically go a slight, you know, you could increase the size of your circle manually let's see if this one works and that's what I'm trying to do so I'm going to just hold it with my finger and I'm going to use I don't think a pencil will um, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on the uh, behind it so that I can and then I'm going to turn the die around it like that so now if I cut this it, you see it's gonna give me just I don't even know if that's an eighth it may be lot smaller than an eighth but it's gonna give me just enough to have a little sliver of that green paper, uh, foil paper sticking out. So let's cut that out and try to be very careful when I cut it out. I'm gonna go on the outside of the... And you can use this trick with just about any dye. I 
I especially like using this with word dyes that don't have shadow. It works really well. See, now that gives me a very fine edge to that. I like that, see? So now when I put it up against, it gives me a sliver of, 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 a, of the border. So as I was saying, it's very easy. Let me show you a card that I did with... I can't find it now. Very messy desk. desk but you could do it with it with um a, a die that has a word a word die you turn it around just be careful that you don't um change the orientation of the word so that it's not the neck you know the mirror image of the word but um i've done it with the word die and i've created my own shadow for the word so that i could mount it on and create a shadow so it works really well so now i'm going to paste this. Now, I don't know. I think I'm going to keep it white. Yeah. I think I'm going to keep it white. So now this, I'm going to die cut using a stitched. But I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it if I'm going to use that or if I'm going to use Yeah, this is my uh, my most used dies. I just keep them in here. I don't know if I'm going to go with um, less than an A2 size. And then, so that I could have a white border and bring more of the white back into the card. I may do that. I have enough paper to do that. I think I'll do that because that way I have, yeah, and the paper goes this way, so I'm going to have to cut it this way. But we'll go with it. I cut this
I'm going to use some score tape. Really, I seldom use uh, wet glue, as I've said before. Dry glue is, or dry adhesive are my go-to, so I use score tape or um, tape runner. pick up enough of my tape runner when it's on sale. I prefer the solid, but I'm going through all my uh, old stuff. I'm trying to get use up all the stuff that I have had for a while. Okay, try to get this straight. to butt it up against the back. I think I do. kind of need something. Let me look at the elements again, or the parameters again. Um, parameters. P plus three. Did I get three colors? Green. Yeah, I got three colors, so that's good. Bugs, Ixen, metallic, or foil. So I got all the parameters, but it, I, I need something. sentiment but what kind of sentiment let me look at the other stamp sets like this one and see if the girls have um i don't think either of the girls have uh, sentiment with them no nope. this other butterfly sentiment. Maybe I'll add some extra butterflies to it. Yeah. I think I'm going to do have a beautiful day.
And I'm going to cut. I'm going to die cut this little banner a couple times. Does beautiful fit on there? Yes, it does. Okay. So let's do that. When I get um, little stamp set or die sets like this, and this is a, um, I think this is a, a, set, a set from um, Impressional Session, I believe. I don't bother to take them apart. That way I can um, remember who they're by. And it's not a big deal to keep them together. Stamp that have a beautiful day into three little banners and spread it across the card. So I'm only stamping, have a, I'm putting a little bit of washi tape on the rest of the stamp. Sometimes I cut the stamp off, sometimes I just put a little washi tape on it. The trick is to remove the washi tape before you uh, stamp it. I'm stamping it twice. Oh, and look at that. My my uh, thing moved. Great. We're just going to turn it around and try it again. Let's try that. Oh, almost did it. Oh, 
Okay, that's good. Let's do the next one. And I'm turning the banner, the fishtail of the banner, over to the other side so that, um, oh, did I just throw my towel on the floor? Yes. So that, um, because I want them to point to, towards that side, uh, away from the uh, stamped image. So now we are going to position beautiful. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little uh, adhesive on the back so that this sticks down. So it doesn't move. And we'll put a piece on this side of beautiful and a piece on day. And we'll oh God. Oh, my memory. See, you have to be very and pay attention to what you're doing. Okay. Day. And back in there. Remove. Remove and stick. And we have another one done. And a little beautiful. Okie dokie. Day. We'll do the same thing for day. Put it down. Clean off our stamp. And now we're going to do. Position our stamp over the image. You can add that there. Day. Pick it up and cover everything except day. And try not to get ink on yourself from the We are so conditioned to automatically ink and stamp that I tell you, it's just a habit not to worry about, not to peel that, uh, that mask off. Okay, done. Okay, that's done. So now let's do this one really quick with some, where's my pink? It's weird, what happened to my pink color? My pink.
that's my card. So I have um, a two size card, three pink plus three colors. Um, insect, butterfly, and what was the last parameter? Oh, foil or metallic, and I used the foil, the green foil. So that is my card for episode 118 of Craft Roulette. Thanks for coming by and tuning into my video. Until next time, have a nice day. Bye.